Welcome back everyone to another video. In this video, I will be showing off my little high current transformer that I wound from an old microwave oven transformer. It's actually one of the newer type of transformers, but it was from an old microwave, so yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, I'm kind of sick right now. But I wanted to make this video anyways, so here's the primary. All I did is cut the weld right here, split the thing apart. Then I took out both the primary and secondary. I was very careful with the primary so I wouldn't damage it. And then I wound this new secondary with some number two wire. Not two gauge, but two slash zero wire. So it's some nice hefty stuff. And I made some lugs out of some half inch copper pipe on the end of it. Yeah, I bent my handle on my vise in the process too. But it's worth it. I do have the shunts in so that the current that drawing that this thing is drawing isn't too extreme, uh, so it won't melt down this little wire coil thing here, uh, the primary. But the secondary still puts out plenty of amps. I measured it out to a thousand two hundred and twenty, no, two one thousand two hundred and seventy five volts. No. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. Um, thousand two hundred seventy five amps. Um, I had that in another part of a video, but that one was uh bad, that video went bad, so, um, I'm just gonna skip right to the part of heating stuff up and making it glow red hot. So, I've got this little jar here, and you can see we had some accidents a little bit earlier, where stuff rolled off of it, but, let's go ahead and start off by that one right there. So you can see it's gotten toasty before also. Let's put the, tripod, the camera in the handy tripod over here, and it's on a Variac, by the way. So I can control the output. With the thing at about 90% power, or 85% power, it puts out plenty of amps, and also it doesn't overheat the primary. It stays nice and cool. So let's begin. These wires are slightly warm after about 5 minutes of making stuff glow hot, but it should be fine. So we're up at about 90% power right now. It's got a nice fair few amps. And this isn't even on full power right now. And it puts out 1.6 volts, the same amount as a AA battery, except at a couple more amps. A AA alkaline can put out 12 amps. This brand new, this thing, can put out 1,200. Ooh, well that spring didn't want to be shocked. Let's uh, try this piece of little metal right here. I'm going to turn this into a spot welder later on. You see it worked perfect for that. In fact, see I just welded those two pieces of metal together. Ooh. Now, let's flip this over. Put that there. A big incandescent bowl. Ooh. 
Okay, these wires are getting coming a little bit uncomfortable to hold. So let's shut the power off. And you can see, power is off. Check the warmth, the temperature of the primary. The primary is cold. That's why I was running at 90% power. If I go up to 100, the thing will draw 9 amps unloaded, and you can see it is still glowing. It got very hot, and it's a nice radiant heater right now. You can see this nice big blister on my finger. That's not from this. That was from something else, but yeah. Quite impressed with the output of this transformer. And just running it on 90% power. The core saturation level, I guess, is okay. And not oversaturated like it would be running it on the full 120 volts. So, works out pretty nice. You can see these are a bit charred up. I had some fun, and when this thing cools off some more, I will be doing some more stuff, and I might even make a video of that part too. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this in the future, uh, be sure to subscribe, and bye.